Hello, fourth grade scientists. We're back again in Erkstown, and today we're going to work on lesson 1.5, activity one. Let's review what our unit question is. The one thing we are trying to figure out for this entire unit, it is, how does the electrical system work? So we've learned some things along the way, and today we're gonna to learn a few more. All right, today's specific purpose, we have two of them. First, it is to discuss electrical systems that have different energy outputs. Outputs meaning the energy is when it leaves the system is different. And also, what can electrical energy in a system be used for? Those two are related. Those two are related. So as we go through this lesson and the three activities with it, think about that. Think about different energy outputs and what it can be used for. All right, let me move my picture out of the way here for a minute. So you are a system engineer. That was our goal. That was your job for our entire unit. And your job as a system engineer is to take everything you've learned so far from what we've read, from the investigations that we've completed and the sim that you've worked with to try to understand what's happening in Erkstown because guess what? They're having lots of blackouts and that's not a good thing. It's not safe when the power is not working. So at the beginning of the unit, you might recognize this little chart I have here. It may not look exactly the same, but it has the same things. Part, function, part, function, part, function. So this particular electrical system we're looking at, it. part of it is a power plant and it has a function. Wires and a function. Electrical devices and a function. So you'll notice that in an electrical fish system, the things you have to know is there are parts and there are functions. So along the way, we're gonna figure out the parts of the electrical system and their functions. Let's go on. All right, so we used this simple electrical system and you watched a video of this. Notice there are some parts. We have some wires with some clamps. We have a fan. We have a motor and we have a solar panel. Can you remember how we put this together? What did we have to do? Think about it. That's right, we had to clamp these wires to the motor and to the solar panel. Okay, so now we're, we're kind of set up, but what did we do with this fan? If you remember from the video, the fan had to be attached to the top of the motor. Now, is our system going to work still? I hooked up everything correctly. Is it going to work? You're right, it will not work. And why won't it work? It won't work because there's no power coming into my solar panel. So what do we need to do? We need to do one of two things. We can go outside where there's some sun, or we can put our solar panel in front of a lamp so we can have solar energy that way. What happens when we get enough solar energy built up in our panel? The fan is going to spin. That's correct. Now you're gonna watch a video next with two different parts. So let's look at these. We have this, hmm, I wonder what it is. But there's some wires coming out of it and there's like some holes here. And then we have this, oh my gosh, just really long wires and a little white top. Hmm. So you're going to watch the same two boys as before. Try to build new systems with these parts. I want you to watch how they attach the different parts to their system. What happens when they do it correctly? 